Good day everyone, my name is Ursalan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are doing good, uh, I hope everything is going good, I hope you are safe during the Ukraine and Russian conflict. Anyways, uh, let's get started with our um, architectural designing. So look at all the videos that I have previously made, the facades and the tornado towers and everything. I hope you enjoyed all of them and you learned something from them. Today is uh, another facade video, one of those, you know, those structural shady videos as I would like to call them. So wrong wide. And uh, you know, I want to make my videos as short as possible. Let's quickly go to new project and um, why am I even starting a project for our file? New conceptual mass and uh, so that is opened on the side. Now let's go back to our 3D and uh, change this to a wrong boy. The size of this can be, you know, we need to change the units first. So meters and uh, two decimal places and uh, M and OK and OK and the size of uh, this, uh, the rhomboid can be 1 by 2 by 1, right? 1 by 2. Okay, so the first thing is uh, click on this, click on this, uh, oh my god, uh, click on this and uh, click on this and uh, join my spline and uh, change it into reference lines, get a point, place it exactly in the middle and uh, now select um, this and select uh, this and uh, join it up <coughs> excuse me and select this and uh, select this and uh, join it up fine there's a line in between right which is not a reference line it's a model line there are two types of lines as you guys can see now the next point is uh, once we done with that so we need two points we need to place them exactly in the middle okay now we need two more points so tab click and okay and uh, click and okay now select this go to this so uh, minus uh, one all right and uh, uh, minus one and we need to change this into a controllable parameter so what is this going to be um, height uh, of um, shading uh, facade and uh, type Let's change this to type OK and uh, so that is done now in um, this case it is the same right we can even um, change this to height of shading facade but um, this is minus one is that one also minus one okay that is even minus one that's good so now I'll convert this click on this all right so both of them are controllable parameters now <coughs> excuse me now um let's click on this and let's go to reference and uh, our model why reference model and uh, let's go let's click on this so we definitely need uh, a straight line okay and uh, find now another line and uh, set um, okay and click on this all right Uh, are both of them correct right I hope I don't confuse this okay and uh, now uh, again model and the lines and uh, let's click on this fine and uh, another one and uh, let's click on this okay so that is done right now um the next thing is uh, what was the next thing all right we definitely need um, two more points so let's click on this point and uh, one we need to bring that to the edge and then let's click on this so one bring that to the edge let's click on this and do one and uh, let's click on this and do one mm, and now uh, that point is selected and this point is selected let's connect this by a spline and let's change it into a reference line okay and uh, let's click on this let's click on the top point and uh, connect it and change it into a reference line and uh, click on this and uh, click on this and connect and uh, change it into a reference line and uh, click on this and uh, click on this and uh, connect and uh, change it into a reference line okay <coughs> excuse me let's click on this and let's uh, click on this and uh, spline and the reference line and uh, click on this 
and let's click on this and uh, spline and uh, reference line everything is good right everything is good everything looks good now let's click on this point let's click on this point and connect and uh, spline and uh, finally come on man let's click on this and let's click on this and let's go to connect and spline and uh, okay now both of them are selected and uh, click click and uh, what else what else what else mm, click so this is our this is going to be the main um yes finally now um tab to select all of it and uh, 0 0.03 which is in a way um the, the <laughs> excuse me 30 millimeters right so this is it guys this is our faki now let's go to our um, and uh, you know the, the parameter the height of our shading is within our control so minus um 0 0.8 okay and check this out it changed so everything looks uh, extremely well now let's go to line and um, and if you guys remember the size of this what was the size of this let me confirm it again it was one ratio two so we can just load it into the project <laughs> so let's simply click on this and uh, un let's change this to two meters and uh, two decimal places and uh, m and okay and uh, now it was one by two right so it means um 30 let's go to 30 and uh, let's make this so let's sit on this so um, one by two how about we go to 50 let's click on this let's divide the surface and um, let's go to one boy let's fix this a little bit and uh, two no two meters and the uh, same case for this so fixed distance and uh, one meters all right check this out so everything looks uh, extremely good so now in a way we have arranged our not arranged but we have fixed our our pattern now if we simply go to this and uh, we load in our families and uh, this is it guys we are complete check this out wireframe and uh, okay um let's go to graphics display let's go to smooth lines let's go to cast shadows and uh, okay let's enable sketchy lines let's go to lightning and uh, for the sun you know i think um top right photograph effect okay background let's go to gradient and let's change this to kind of um, yellow all right okay and okay and uh, check this out guys so this is it and uh, for example let's change this to a bit of overhang so you know these are these uh, sort of uh, structural shading facades the one that i was talking about and look at how beautiful our facade is i mean now behind this it can be anything right but uh, we can use this for models and you know the size of this can even be increased for example if we follow the same pattern we can even um, change you know uh, for example this can be one floor right uh, i hope you guys are getting my point so the size of this currently is one meter by two meters if you remember from the family but it can even be one meters by six and then it would cover one complete floor, uh, two complete floors which is three and three and it can even uh, cover one complete floor for example um two meters by four meters and that's how it's going to cover one floor right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned something from it and this is our structural shading facade look at how beautiful it is so have a good day and uh, bye bye